Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In last lecture, I have shown you how to design this. Let me show you. In last lecture, I have shown you how to make this and how this data is coming here and how to save, how to design this all and how to save this data into the database. And okay, so in today's lecture, I'm going to show you what how to design on this button full history of the patient in the previous video i have shown for these two uh, if you have not seen my previous videos go to my um, channel and search for hospital management system playlist and there you can search uh, previous videos okay so let me show you what i'm going to show you today like I'm going to show you how this is coming actually okay in the uh, from the database and also this one okay so let me show you so to do that first what we need is panel okay so let me drag and drop a panel here on the wrong place let me drag once again and here, I have, here we go here we need is just place it perfectly it needs to be overlap exactly upon the previous one if you can do so then this will not work properly okay so now it's on the right place what we need is we need one grid view to show the dat data over it so for that I need a grid view, data grid view, drag and drop it here, make size as much as you want, like this I need it to be large and I need one label so I can show that what exactly and what data I am exactly showing to users. Just go to police, change its name, search for text and change it to full history of the patient. Here we go. I can make it a little bold, I guess, so that it look a bit nice. Change it to increase its size to there we go now what we need is we need that whenever we click on this button this grid view is pulled with the whole data which is in this patient more and add patient okay so how to do that to do that we need to code on the this button click event to generate this button click event just double click on this and here we are with this click event here you can see button full history and click event this is the event name okay so what we first need is that when we execute it wait for a while it's processing that when we click on this okay something went wrong in the previous video let me correct it I think I have made some mistake okay so so let me show you what exactly how why this is going let me show you what we need is when we click on this then uh, this is a third panel actually but uh, what we need is that third pack panel should be hidden when we click on this button so let's go here and make it panel three dot visible is equal to false okay 
and what we need to do is we need to add this to few more places like uh, here okay and one more place where we need this in dashboard 2 okay and at this place I have already added it to add diagnosis information actually I have added it two times so what we need is add button diagnosis we need this too but at the full history patient what we need is we need to view this panel 3 so we need true but what we don't need is panel 1 dot visible is equal to false and we don't need the panel 2 dot visible is equal to false there we go now let's execute it and see it that it's working properly or not so now here we can see that okay if something went wrong I guess I'm wrong with this panel 3 dot visible is equal to true but before that I need to hide this let me check once what exactly is going on okay. we have some other problem that's why I'm telling you to take care of panel with the handle care actually I was having problem with uh, the panel I have not placed the panel properly now I have placed it uh, if you face such problem then you just need to do this that you have to delete this current uh, current panel and after that you need to again place it here okay so now this is working pro properly fine now what we need is we need to put this data put data whenever we click on this full history of the patient okay so how we are going to do that for that we need to code on this full history dot uh, full history of patient button okay so what we need to do is first we need to make an SQL current connection in the last video I have shown you how to make the SQL connection let me just copy that code okay so Let me just copy the code from here to okay, here. And let me put it where we need to put it. Just put it here and we make some changes in this. So here this query will not work. What we need is we need the data from both of this table and how we can we are going to do that. We are just going to perform the perform our join operation okay so how to write the query for join operation that let me show you what is the query actually like star from add patient in a join okay. actually what we need is uh, we need that uh, okay so we need all the data so we form inner join on patient more on patient dot PID. that is the primary key dot PID that is a foreign key and here we go so let me show you what actually happened when we execute this query in this database okay so what actual data is being retrieved from the database now I'm going to execute it here you can see this the whole data from both the tables are executed here so now let's go and see what we can do with this okay now the the whole data is now in this data set and what we need is we need to put this data into this grid view now we are going to do that 
we just we just need to write the data grid view dot dot data source data source is equal to object of data set dot table and the index number that is zero and here we go now what is it is actually done that when we click on the start button and let me type and now I'm going to click on this and here we can see that all the data from the database is now being fetched. Okay. So now this is done. So here we can see all the data which is user entered into this full history of the patient. Okay. So we are going to design for the hospital information. For that we just need a panel or okay we need a panel and just keep it here and just drag and paste it in the right place make sure the size of the previous panel is same of the new panel okay so that it make easy to do that now what we need is I need one picture box because I am going to place one picture box in which data is filled with the hospital details. Okay. So it, this data can don't need to be changed. I am going to add an image in this picture box, local import, click on import, local resources and click on import and here we go i need one thing let me add this picture okay so here the information of your uh, hospital can be anything different hospital have different details so i'm just adding this this is not a bad picture i guess let me stretch this okay so what we need is when we click on this this picture needs to be shown or this panel needs to be shown and rest of them needs to be hidden so first we need is click on this and here what we need is panel 4 now we have that the last panel name is panel 4 and visible is equal to true okay and for the rest of the panel like panel 1 dot visible is equal to false panel 2 dot visible is equal to false in the same way for panel 3 3 dot visible is equal to false here we go and what we need is when we click on this panel 4 need to be hidden so for that we again need to write everywhere panel 4 dot visible is equal to Walls. and just copy it we need to write it few more on few more places where we need to write it and here also we need to write it and one more place where we need uh, the load event we need to write it just save it and execute it So now this is working perfectly fine. I have shown in the first lecture and this in the second. And today I have shown you how to do this. And that last one information. Okay, it again creates some issue with this. Let me check it out. Okay, so with this, I guess I have done again a few small mistake. Not a big deal. So sorry, it's actually working that's why it's causing problem let me make it as a bit smaller okay. so what actually this is doing is when you overlap the panel sometimes it's cause problem and sometimes it's not so make sure you need to adjust it okay 
so that's not an issue and the same way i have shown in the previous uh, previous videos to overlap that you can actually overlap that's a new not a big deal so actually from this lecture i have completed the project and leave your valuable comments in the comment section and if you need the source code please comment your email id in the comment box and if you need uh, videos on some particular stuff then you can uh, uh, comment uh, so that i can make a video on that and thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon